Hi, my name is Benjamin Harjo, Jr. I'm Seminole and absentee Shawnee. I was uh, raised around Bing, Oklahoma on my grandparents' farm. Graduated from Bing High School in 64. Read about the Institute of American Indian Arts in Santa Fe and wanted to go there to get uh, a formal education in the arts. Uh, primarily focusing on cartooning. When I got to the, the Institute and I discovered that they had dropped the course in cartooning, then um, I was enrolled in color and design, uh, painting, drawing, and printmaking. And I discovered the world of printmaking and decided that uh, that piqued my interest, and it was something that I really wanted to learn. Well, my, my first woodblock print, I cut out the same areas in both blocks and got yelled at by my teacher. I had no idea that you were supposed to leave one area different from the other block so that you could get a registration of color. Well, this piece here, this is called Season's Color and it's a multi-print woodblock so that for each color you either have to have enough space between them when you roll your ink on so that you can print maybe three colors at a time and eliminate having to do multiple blocks but each of these 32 prints I changed the color on each of them which is why I named it Seasons Color. And it's one of my uh, later woodblock prints because I have quite a few from when I was at uh, the Institute until now. This piece is called the, the Circle of Life. And what it depicts is a Seminole woman holding the red circle which remains unbroken and means continuing life. But it's also based on the wheel of life that a medicine man drew that has the colors, the red being healthy life, the blue being sickness, the black being death, the yellow being the bones turning, and the white inside representing um, the skeletal remains. Then you have the red crossing over, which means that you cross over back into a life. Um, the turtle design uh, I took from patchwork. The uh, crosses and the circles represent the universe. And then these are merely uh, uh, design, uh, they could represent fire, which is, uh, again, a very sacred um, symbol for our stomp dances and Seminole people. The painting before this one and this one are both done in gouache, which is an opaque watercolor. Uh, my woodcut was done with oil-based printing inks uh, made by Speedball and uh, most of my uh, woodcuts are printed on rice paper or mulberry paper. These are done on watercolor paper, either 300 pound or 180 pound watercolor. This one is called Kaleidoscope of Winged Beauty and what it in reference to is not only the insects that fly about the earth but also the bigger image of a bird and the connection to the bird by um, many tribal people, uh, whether it's uh, offering prayer to the Creator when the word is taken up into the heavens, but also dealing with our smaller creatures that have wings that have been here forever 
and will be here long after we're gone. It's just uh, kind of reminds me of a kaleidoscope where when you peer into the kaleidoscope, you see the colors that cause the pattern to uh, shape and form on the eye. Birds of Wonder is the title of this piece. And uh, when I do a double piece like this, a lot of times I will do one side in gouache and one side in acrylic. And I will change the design and the color within the structure, the image of the bird. And when I started doing this one, I was thinking of a seahorse. But as I worked on it, it changed into a bird. And I titled it Birds of Wonder. Because when people say, well, what kind of birds are they? And I go, well, kind of makes you wonder about it, doesn't it? For me, it's just a challenge and an experimentation of not only the image, but also the color. And uh, I do several pieces where either I do a repetitious image and then try to come back in and paint each image the same. Or sometimes I will take one image and change a little bit of the color somewhere on it so that it forces the viewer to look a little more closely at my work to see what little bit of change that I put into it. This is uh, one of the pieces that I, I really enjoyed making and creating.